Hola mis amores, welcome to Mass Sparkle DIYs. My name is Massey, and today I'm excited to share with you this beautiful farmhouse glam pedestal vase made from Dollar Tree items. To begin today's project, we will need some flowers of your choice, floral wooden picks and skewers, glitter, decor fruits, ribbon, floral foam, one bowl, candle holder, glue gun, E6000, sand castle toy, you can find it in the toy section at the Dollar Tree. Okay, so now we're going to glue the sand castle and the candle holder together to make a cup shape. I am cutting the tip so I can sand it. So when I glue them together, they have a better bond. You can skip this step and just add the glue. I am using the Waverly Shulk white paint to paint my candle holder and my sand castle. Okay, now we're gonna glue them together using the E6000 and the glue gun. After you glue them, put some glue between the two pieces so we can paint over the joint to make it look like it's one piece. Give your cup a second coat and add glitter. Okay, so now using the metallic pearl white, the granite gray, the antique white, the country gray, and the sage chalk, we're going to dip our brushes just a little, tap and brush the corner, but want it to look antique. I like to paint over the glitter for texture. Add some glitter. Now repeat the same steps for the bowl. Tap with a towel or a sponge for some texture. Time to glue the top piece. Press down and let it dry for like 2-3 minutes. Okay, so now with the glue gun, fill the gap and smooth the glue fast before it dries to smooth the connection and make it look as one piece. With the brush, paint the connection and add a lot of paint to fill any gap that's left. Add glitter. Now we're going to add some metallic antique gold paint for a rusty look. Add more glitter. Okay, so now for the final step, brush white very lightly where you added the rusty golden touch. And keep adding glitter until you're satisfied with the look. With the sage, chalky green, we're going to paint our pumpkin. Remove the stem. Use a skewer stick to hold your pumpkin while you paint it. Paint the stick. Now using the country gray, granite gray, and metallic pearl white, we're going to paint this pumpkin, letting the orange color pop not painting between the lines for a more realistic look. I added the stem and painted with the sage and the gold. For the grapes, I just brushed some mud podge and just added glitter. Now for the apple, remove the stem and paint your apple on a vertical motion and let the red color pop under the green. Add a little glitter to the top, paint your stem and attach it back to the apple. To make our ribbon nest, like the one in the left, just loop the ribbon over itself several times 
Then pinch or twist and add a flower wire or a pipe cleaner and tie it off in the center. Fluff the loops. Repeat the same steps. Glue your flower foam and insert the flowers you're going to use. Glue the grapes to what's going to be the front of your flower arrangement. Now insert your fruits and the pumpkins. That little pumpkin is from Hobby Lobby. I got it with the 40% off, super cheap. I added my ribbon to the skewer with the floral wire and just insert it in the flower foam. I have this from last year. I was just reusing it for this project. I attach it to the floral wooden picks. I will be cutting this ribbon, making it look like ribbon ends. Then I will attach it to the floral wooden pegs and then I will insert it to the flower foam. Fill the empty spaces. And we are done. I love how this vase has such a big impact between the glitter, the pumpkins, the flowers, and the little details. It's stunning. I can't believe I only spent a few dollars making this gorgeous centerpiece for my buffet table. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I will be back soon with many more DIYs. See you soon.